sorry, my son. I didn't want to have to do this to you. But you can't leave. Not yet. There is so much yet for you to witness. Will you see it? Martin Archimbald, or Father Martin, is probably your biggest ally throughout the course of the game, Outlast. Fancying himself to be something of a prophet, Martin has wholly dedicated himself to what he believes to be the one true god, the Wall Rider. This pure and total devotion to this creature has become everything to this man of faith, and through that devotion, Martin has even managed to fold a few patients of the Mount Massive Asylum into his flock. Most of what we know about the life of Martin Archimbald is regulated to his institutionalization at the Mount Massive Mental Asylum. Unfortunately, we don't know why he was placed in the asylum in the first place, nor do we even know if he is truly a priest or if he only donned that title after he found his higher calling. His past is a mystery with the first concrete detail that we know about him being from a hobby that he enjoyed participating in at Mount Massive, that hobby being finger painting. While Martin was in the asylum, a huge part of his therapy, which he responded to quite positively, was an art program. This hobby helped Martin deal with his schizophrenia, keeping his condition in check and allowing him to work out his issues through his artworks. Unfortunately, Murkoff didn't see the art program as essential, and cancelled it, much to the bemusement of Martin's doctors. This huge change in Martin's therapy didn't take long to drastically change him, and within the span of only a week, he had begun to disengage from reality, telling his doctors that he had found his higher calling. The calling to become the prophet of the Great Wall Rider. Another poor soul. Don't be afraid, you're doing his work whether you know it or not. Though we don't know much of what exactly Martin did in the asylum beyond his finger painting hobby, it seems unlikely that he was ever a candidate for Project Wall Rider, seeing as he lacks the heavy scarring that often accompanies testing with the morphogenic engine. This means that even though Martin has total conviction to his god, he likely never had a chance to become him. So, locked in his padded cell with no creative outlet for his schizophrenia, Father Martin became completely consumed by his devotion to the Wall Rider. Until one day, Martin's faith paid off. Project Wall Rider was a success, and the entity was wholly manifested by a man named Billy Hope, and with its birth came the complete chaos of the asylum. Most every patient was set free to take their revenge on the staff and do as they pleased, and Father Martin was no exception. With his newfound freedom, Martin began preaching to his fellow patients about the gospel of the Wall Rider, attempting to convert those who he could into true believers of his God, a task made all the easier by the entity floating around the halls of the asylum. Until one night, while walking around the halls of Mount Massive, he found a man with a camcorder laying unconscious at his feet. To Father Martin, this was a clear sign that God had sent him an apostle. I, I see, merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Throughout Miles' adventure in Mount Massive, Father Martin somewhat guides the way, teaching his apostle the truth of the Wall Rider, an entity that he believes is the answer to the madness that infests this asylum. Believing that the ghosts, spirits, and madness of the patients are all signs of the heavenly presence of the Wall Rider, and that by accepting this all-powerful entity, you will in turn be freed of those fears. So, in order to bring Miles to this realization, Father Martin first needs for him to experience the true fear of the Mount Massive Asylum, so that he may find the blessing of the Wall Rider and relinquish that fear, leading Miles all around the asylum before meeting back up with him in the administration block, Father Martin's plans for Miles and for himself finally come to fruition. 
Martin has shown Miles the sickness of the asylum, even shown him the vision of his god, the Wall Rider. As a prophet, Martin has given his gospel of sand to a worthy apostle who can carry on the teachings of the true god. However, one final display of faith is necessary. Father Martin must give himself to the Wall Rider give himself entirely to his god so that he can be set free and resurrected. And so we see him one last time, giving everything that he has in this mortal realm to the being that he believes will be his salvation. My Job, you alone shall escape it, Alpha. This is your penultimate act of witness. The promise of the prophets was always freedom from death. And, and here it is. You will watch and record my death, my resurrection. And together we will be free. 